We are from First Group. We are here to tell you about managing employee retention, engagement, and career. The first topic that we are going to tell you about is managing voluntary turnover. As a manager, we have to understand what employee feel. For that, we have to identify it cause. Here's five top reasons why employee do voluntary turnover according to 262 US organization survey data. The first one is salary. The second is promotional opportunity. The third is work-life balance. The fourth is career development. The fifth is healthcare benefits. And also, there is some reason, like unfairness, not having their voice heard, and lack of recognition. There are the video that we're going to show you about unfairness, not having their voice heard, and a lack of recognition. And the last is work-life balance. How to fix the voluntary turnover the Strategy retention for reducing voluntary turnover The first is Hear their voice Recognize them And giving their life balance Between job And a day activity You may look at the video
a comprehensive approach to retaining employee. Identify magnitude of the problem and issue. Compensation, selection, professional growth, career duration, meaningful expectation, recognition, culture and environment, work-life balance, and high performance work system practice. The second topic, employee engagement. Employees are part of the organization. To make organization better, we need them to contribute, not just working. Here's there are how to foster engagement. The first one is making sure employees understand how their department contribute to the company's success. Number two, see how their own effort contribute to achieving the company goals. And number three, get a sense of accomplishment from working at the firm. The third topic is career management. Career management is a process for enabling employees to better understand and develop their career skill and interest, and to use these skills and interests most effectively, effectively both within the company. The first one is career planning. Second one is career development let's see the video how to develop the employee beside that there are psychological contracts. For the example, employee understand what they have to do for the organization, and the employers or manager have to understand he will treat employee fairly and provide satisfactory work condition, hopefully in a long term relationship. And there are career management options, career centers, career planning workshop, lifelong learning budget, career coaching, online programs, and career-oriented appraisal. The fourth topic is improving coaching skill. To coach your employee, you need to build your coaching skills and mentory. The difference between coach and mentor is the coach is teaching in every single day. But in the mentoring, you have to teach your employee for a long term, for a long time work. Here are the video that related to improving coaching skill and how you coaching your employee, your mentoring.
The fifth topic is making promotion decisions. In the making promotion decision, we have make some decisions, including is seniority or competence the rule? How should we measure competence? Is the process formal or informal, vertical, horizontal, or other? There are some videos that show the promotion. The sixth topic is managing dismissal. Usually, employee get a dismissal because having the bad attitude. This is a ground for dismissal. Unsatisfactory performance refer to a persistent failure to perform assigned duties or meet prescribed standards on the job. Specific reasons is absenteeism, tardiness, a persistent failure to meet normal job requirement, or an adverse attitude toward the company. There are the video that related to the managing dismissal. Why dismissal is due and how 